happy morning students today i am going to discuss about a salt that is bleaching powder today i will discuss its preparation its physical property its chemical property and then its uses we always get questions from this segment the question that is likely asked in the exam is give the chemical formula of bleaching powder may come in the one marks exam what is its name chemical name how is bleaching powder prepared or what are the ingredients required to produce or prepare or manufacture bleaching powder or question may be asked what happens when it is left exposed to air what happens when it reacts with acids or a simple question can be given to you what are the uses of bleaching powder to so students all these questions that you see let us get the answer of these questions let us start and you listen to it attentively first of all i am going to have the chemical name and chemical formula for bleaching powder okay was what is the chemical name the chemical name of bleaching powder is calcium oxychloride what it is called as calcium oxy chloride formula c a o c l 2 calcium oxy chloride calcium is over here one atom of calcium one atom of oxygen and two atoms of chlorine makes one molecule of bleaching powder calcium oxy chloride now how is it prepared let us see preparation for preparation when chlorine gas is passed through dry slacked lime formation of bleaching powder takes place let us see when chlorine gas that is it chlorine gas is passed through dry slag line then formation of bleaching powder takes its let us have the chemical equation for it i am having dry slag line that is c a o h o2 calcium hydroxide plus chlorine gas what it is going to give me c a o c l 2 what is remaining behind remaining behind is h2 and one o that means water is liberated so what we are getting over here we are getting bleaching powder in this chemical reaction when chlorine gas is passed through dry slag line then formation of bleaching powder takes place now how it looks like that is physical properties what is its solubility 
state what is its color let us see to it in physical properties physical physical properties first of all state state and color it is it is yellowish white salt what is the color yellowish white salt state is it is solid in nature okay next comes the solubility soluble in soluble in cold water it is soluble in cold water if it is soluble in cold water means it is soluble in hot water also means it is soluble in water but the solution remains milky the solution of this milky powder and water will be a bit milky why milky because of the unused calcium hydroxide the slack line which is found over there it in unused state that will give me the milkiness to be the right it is soluble in cold water but solution solution form form is milky why milky due to the presence of calcium hydroxide okay now we are coming on to the chemical chemical property in case of the chemical property we will first study what happens when bleaching powder is left exposed to air and we know students in the air carbon dioxide is there this carbon dioxide can react with your bleaching powder and formation of calcium carbonate results and chlorine gas gets liberated let us see on the board the chemical equation so first of all number 1 exposed to air so what we can write when cao cl2 is left exposed left exposed to air it reacts with carbon dioxide it reacts with carbon dioxide and forms ca co3 and chlorine gas is chlorine gas is liberated what happens was exposed to air when bleaching powder is left exposed to air it reacts with carbon dioxide and forms calcium carbonate and chlorine gas is liberated let us see ki how this chemical equation is written i have written the upper part of the board now students let us see the reaction cao cl2 plus co2 what happens ca co3 results and chlorine gas is liberated what happens when bleaching powder reacts with atmospheric carbon dioxide formation of calcium carbonate takes place and chlorine gas is liberated next comes reactions with acid reaction with acid 
it happens boys in case of the acid bleaching powder may react with dilute sulfuric acid or it may react with dilute hydrochloric acid when it is reacting with dilute hydrochloric acid it is going to form its respective chloride water and chlorine gas is liberated when it is reacting with sulfuric acid formation of the respective sulfate takes place that is calcium sulfate water is liberated and chlorine gas is also chlorine gas is also liberated so what so what is over here so what is what is over here